Hey, what's up you guys, it's Mike Nardi here. So Fiverr is starting to help you make more money. And not just you, Fiverr's helping me make more money and everyone else selling on the platform earn more as a Fiverr seller. You might be wondering what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Fiverr new logo. You might be wondering why a new logo um, is an indication of how Fiverr is gonna start helping you make more money or make money easier, have a wider reach. But I'm gonna explain that to you in this video and we're gonna talk all about it. It's an awesome thing. Before I get into the content of this video, as always, make sure you're hitting the like button and subscribing to this video. It really helps me grow the channel and get this type of content out to more sellers like yourself to help the Fiverr community make more money online. So let's get into it. So if you're someone like me, you're constantly on Fiverr, you're constantly reading Reddit posts, forums, news updates on the company. You know, I'm obsessed with the platform. It's really helped me uh, change the way that I earn money in my life. And I got a feeling that uh, that's the same for a lot of you. So if, you, so if you're like me, you've probably noticed that Fiverr updated its logo recently. Traditionally, Fiverr had that green circle with Fiverr in the middle, but they're updating things and they're giving it a bit more of a modern look and feel. As soon as I saw this, I got really excited. And the reason I'm making this video is because you should too. Um, Fiverr went public as a company, I, I believe it was last summer or around June. Since they went public, they've been exploding. I think their market cap has passed $4 billion. Their stock price is just soaring. Things have been going really well for the company. And um, that's a good thing, right? But when we see things like a new logo, that's an indication that a high growth company like Fiverr is using its growth and its increased revenues in the markets it's conquering uh, and reinvesting it into the business. And this new logo is an indication of that. So a new logo to me, is an indication that Fiverr or the new marketing people at Fiverr or whoever have allocated a budget this year to a new marketing plan. Part of that marketing plan seems to be a rebrand. So the logo is one thing, but you might also have noticed that um, the Fiverr layout when you log into to your account has also changed. The dashboard, the types of information that you're seeing, the fonts are changing. So th this is very interesting. It could mean a lot of things. The first is that Fiverr could be poising and posturing to target new demographics. That's an awesome thing because as a seller, you know, if you're offering a service on Fiverr and Fiverr's finding ways to enter new demographics, new markets, new countries, um, that only expands the reach that your gigs are gonna have for the type of people and where these people around the world are that have access to purchasing things from you. So that's really good. The second thing um, that to me is an indication that, you know, or something that Fiverr might be doing with this rebrand, is anytime a company like Fiverr is growing really fast, they have a lot of money coming in, and they start doing things like a rebrand, you need to understand that a lot of thought goes into this stuff. Consumer and buyer psychology, seller psychology, you know, they probably have whole teams of people working on the right color green that they should be using on their website, or how things should be laid out most optimally to encourage people to purchase services versus looking at services and maybe, you know, moving on without uh, initiating an order. There's a lot of research, preparation, money, and employee manpower that goes into these types of things. So I know seeing something just small like a new logo or you know the app has been redesigned recently it's more optimized it works better on different devices these are good signs of things to come you know anytime a company like Fiverr is pumping money into marketing you know they're self-interested in trying to increase their bottom line but Fiverr increases their bottom line through us increasing our bottom line so this is really really awesome and exciting so some things that come with a rebrand might be new functionality so a couple things that uh, you also might have noticed on Fiverr over the last couple of months is you know the logo has obviously been updated they're you know changing you know certain design elements of the site but they've also really been pushing Fiverr Studios and Fiverr for Business hard. And this is awesome. So my feeling is that a rebrand or this rebrand that Fiverr is going through is probably gonna be geared towards attracting more business clients. So what that means for you as a seller is imagine, you know, if you look at your orders, let's say you have 100 orders and 90% of them are small time entrepreneurs looking for your help to help them get their business started. 
that's great. But oftentimes, you know, small shops, mom and pop shops, or one one person companies don't have a huge budget to keep spending with you. So you might get a couple orders and then they'll disappear uh, after you've done a little bit of work. But if Fiverr's putting money into marketing Fiverr as a platform to outsource work to large companies, that's a much more consistent revenue stream. Um, I don't know, take Apple or Shaw Communications or any big Fortune 500 type of company, for example. Uh, if Fiverr is successful in marketing Fiverr to those types of companies as a platform, especially in the current state of the world right now, um, Fiverr is probably pitching, pitching Fiverr as a low cost, high quality alternative to hiring actual employees. So if you think of a company like Apple, for example, maybe not the best example, but uh, think of a big company, um, it probably cost them like a hundred grand a year to have a graphic designer on staff. Uh, maybe not a hundred grand, maybe 60 to a hundred grand, I don't know. Whereas if Fiverr sells themselves to Apple as a solution to outsource graphic design work and to get the same amount of work done on a piecework basis through Fiverr for business, it would only cost 10 grand. That's a huge cost savings to a company of that size. Uh, and it also benefits Fiverr because sellers are getting the opportunity to be competitive in bidding on these types of projects. Um, most Fiverr sellers are delivering a high quality of work depending on the price point you get into. So it's a win-win situation. That is exciting. As a seller, the idea of locking down more big business clients is just dollar signs, right? If you get a client that's ordering from you regularly, weekly, monthly, or big projects quarterly, uh, that is a way that you can build consistent revenue streams on this platform versus just doing one-off projects for a number of different types of sellers. Overall, this is all fantastic. You should be excited. And it's an indication that all sellers out there should really be doubling down on getting your skills on the site. Take some time to create more gigs based on the skills you can offer you know, as package services on Fiverr. Freshen up your gigs, optimize your thumbnails, make them really clicky, optimize your gig titles, descriptions, do what you can to get your gigs out there. Because in the coming months and years, I have a feeling Fiverr is gonna pump a lot of money into promoting sellers on the platform to their clients. I've already noticed that Fiverr is sending out customer experience surveys for buyers, um, asking what they thought of certain sellers. And what this indicates to me is they're building an algorithm or a database of sellers that they can recommend to big box clients to ensure that those types of clients have a steady stream of freelancers always available to get work done. That's awesome, but you need to be prepared for that. So I put out a lot of videos on this channel that talk about how you can optimize your gigs and stuff like that. Check them out if you have some time. I would really double down on getting gigs on Fiverr. Create gigs, get them up there, get them ready to sell, uh, and push them yourselves off the platform to get you some, some runway with, with reviews and stuff because I have a good feeling that um, the money Fiverr's probably spending on marketing right now is gonna have a trickle down effect and really help us sellers by pushing our gigs to the top, pushing our gigs to um, you know be in front of more, more clients and ultimately get us more exposure by entering new markets and really upping the, the, the ante in their marketing game. So it's all really good stuff and um, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on that. So um, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and until next time, cheers.